I think it would be important for them to know that um, it was taken away from us in the late 1800s by the um, federal government. And so they uh, established schools and had our, our uh, ancestors taken away from their families to get them assimilated into the society, the, the new society, as they say, so that we could become farmers, for example, or we could become um, teachers, maybe, or bakers, or cooks, or whatever, of the times. And so that concept came on down until it reached the, the point where uh, now women are you know, just as equal to men in positions of work or employment. So perhaps maybe there's a, a, another way to explain that. I'm not too sure either on that. If, if there's something I don't know, then I don't like to really you know, say too much about it because I could be wrong. <laughs> so, but anyway, that, that part of, of our culture is, has changed through the years. Uh, in 1995, they brought back our language through the Act of Congress. And then, uh, well, before that, in 1978, they, they told us that we could practice our religion. That was this law that became, you know, and it's been part of our culture forever until it was taken from us. And then there's a whole span of two generations, I would say, where we couldn't do anything, and that's where we lost a lot of cultural stuff, our practicing our, our ways. But now it's different, it's coming back. And it's people like myself and like Stephanie, whoever else, uh, we're trying you know, to bring those things back so that the future of the kids, or students, I should say, I'm always saying kids. I even call my students kids in my classroom. <laughs> but, you know, if we could uh, how if we could ask the teachers to try to you know instill that into the children that we are trying to teach them our culture, perhaps maybe we might have a different look, a new new look. 